Hey guys, it's Tesla here and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at decals by setting them up and placing them in our map. So to begin with, if you check the YouTube video description, I've created a blood sample pack you guys can download and use in your game projects royalty free. So we've got some blood splatter effects here, we've also got some stains, and we've got a wall splatter just here which kind of drags down at the bottom. And I've also provided the, the, the normals, so if you guys want to play around with those, you can. But I'm going to drag out Splat 1 and just chuck it into our engine just here. Now the first thing we need to do is create a material from this. So we'll right click, create material, I'm just going to name this Blood Splat 1. Now we'll open it up. Just move this here so we can see what's going on and we need to change this from a surface to a deferred decal so we'll come down here drop down to surface and we can select deferred decal now so now this is ready to um, use as a decal in our map so we'll click apply and now we can come up to visuals here if you scroll down you'll find deferred decal now we can drag this out and select our blood material just here However, there's a much quicker way to um, apply decals in your map. If we just have the material selected and right-click anywhere you want it to be, let's just say here, you see we ha we can place the actor deferred decal because it knows it's a decal when we have it selected. So there we go. However, we've got a problem here. It's got a black background and we've got some whole red squares. So why is it doing that? Well, we need to open up the material again. And you see we have these channels here. We have red green, blue and alpha. We need to connect the alpha channel to the opacity input for the material. And now we'll click apply. And now you can see it's looking exactly how we want it to look. So you can scale these down if you want it to, so you can use them in any way you want to use them. But I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Okay, so if you drag these over your tables and chairs as here, or any props you've got, you can see it automatically places them on top, which is kind of cool and fun. Now, let's say we want to get the blood to reflect and make it look really wet, so we can get the, these chairs and tables to reflect real time in our blood. We can do that, so we'll open up the material. We'll drag out metallic here drop down constants and just select a simple constant. So this is a value we, we can simply input to our metallic and we're going to do one for our roughness input as well. So I'm going to copy it, paste it, connect it up. I'm going to leave the roughness at zero but I'm going to change the metallic to 0 0.9. So it will give it a really reflective wet look. Now if we click apply You can see the tables and chairs are reflecting real time in our map, so it's also going to reflect anything. So it's going to reflect the lights. So the, cha the chairs and tables are actually um, lit up in the map, but it's also lit up in the reflections as well. Okay, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the uh, free sample pack I've provided for you guys. You can use in your games and projects, royalty free. Thanks for checking it out and make sure you stay subscribed for any future packs or tutorials. Cheers guys!